hi and welcome to my channel so i bring the best news ever regarding uk jobs visa sponsorship and career progression in the uk this is an all inclusive package for somebody who wants the perfect life in the uk and so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you this amazing opportunity in fact a few weeks ago the uk government confirms that they were putting in 126 million pounds into the healthcare sector to help with recruitment retention and career progression for the staff recruitment for that is now officially open so if you're new to my channel you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber i absolutely appreciate your time and if you haven't joined this family take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button below because you want to be the first person that is notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. When I see opportunities like this, I am very, very excited because this is exactly how I started my own UK journey 13 years ago as a carer in a nursing home. But guess what? 13 years later, I work as an advanced nurse practitioner, which is the most senior clinical nursing job. So let me tell you something. When I'm sharing these opportunities, they're there as entry level, they're there to get you into the building so that you can explore the other opportunities that this country has. And so leave a comment in the comment section below. Where are you watching from? Which country are you watching from? Just drop the name of your country in the comment section below because this opportunity is absolutely mind-blowing. Also, if you need one-to-one -one support, Support, by the way you need you know you're like what about my cv what about the application process what's the best pathway for me check the comment section below you're going to see my contact details my whatsapp number as well as my email address and you can contact me at your earliest convenience to discuss about your personal circumstances you're also going to see my free newsletter on there you know you drop your name and email address and i send that information directly to your inbox so that you don't miss out because the only objective for us being in the uk is to work less earn a lot of money and eventually retire early and that is what i'm all about so with this opportunity today you know what are we looking at so it is the clinical support worker job so i want you to leave a comment in the comment section and say clinical support worker because you need to kind of ingrain this in your mind and i'm hoping that if you're somebody who has been looking for opportunities in the uk whether you're overseas or you're already in the uk on a student visa on a health and care worker visa on a skilled worker visa on a dependent visa you're looking to switch you know you're looking for an opportunity that will enable you to work earn learn at the same time and progress to senior positions this one is going to be perfect so like i said drop that in the comment section below and so how many people are they looking for so i'm going to tell you the requirements you know eligibility criteria how many people they need how to apply and literally every single thing that you need so you do not have to worry yourself the first thing is that they need four thousand people for this opportunity 4,000 is a massive, massive number. And let me tell you the best thing about it. Many people are going to know about this. They're going to watch this video. But guess what? Very few people will apply. And that is a massive advantage for you who is ready and willing to take action. So leave a comment in the comment section below and say 4,000 people. Because when you realize the magnitude that this opportunity has, the opportunity that you've got now, you put in your application so drop a comment and say four thousand people that's how many people they need for this and the reason is over the last few years the you know the uk has spent a lot of money on recruitment but let me tell you something that recruitment hasn't really yielded fruit because most of that money has been spent on recruitment agencies you know and that's why they've decided to divert those funds now to the staff so that they can train the staff because what they realized was these are entry-level positions that anybody can apply but when people get recruited they don't really have the training so it is a massive struggle for the organizations and as you know healthcare is something that is very delicate you need quality staff and you need people who are enthusiastic about the job and this is why this opportunity is so perfect so in terms of the requirements what do you need and by the way our live session you know we have a live session today if you're not aware i do have a private career coaching program where i offer one-to-one -one 
tailored, individualized, and personalized guidance. If you check the description box below or the about section on this channel, you see more information about my private coaching program. It's not for everybody. It's only for the top 1% of people that, like me, don't want to waste any time and you're interested in personal and professional development in the UK. We have a live session today. We're going to start at 8.30 p.m. prompt UK time. We're going to dissect this opportunity. We're going to look at the employers that are recruiting. We're going to look at your specific circumstances how can you apply what do you need i have gone through the application you know myself so i know exactly what they need in preparation for our live session today so do not miss that session please it's very crucial it's very important and these are things that are time sensitive so you do not want to miss out on that session again like i like i say the live stream starts at 8.30 p.m. I'm going to send a reminder. So if you've registered, you know, check the comment section below. Obviously, it's only for people who have registered. It's not going to be on YouTube. And I'm going to send you a reminder of the session with a countdown timer. And that countdown timer is going to tell you how long we've got left for the session to get started. So no matter where you are in the world, because there are people in the coaching program from different countries, different time zones, that's why the timer is important. So when you look at your email, you're going to see how long we've got to get started. So if it's one hour to the session, you'll see one hour and it's going to count down until half past eight when it's going to go to zero. There is no end time for this live session because we're going to need a lot of time to dissect this, you know. So there's no end time, but please join on time, 8.30 p.m. We're getting started because this is an opportunity that I want at least 2,000 people from here to be successful. So leave a comment in the comment section and say 2,000 people because it is very powerful. In fact, words, conviction, all of those things are going to enable you to succeed. When you're convinced that you're able to make it, that is already 90% of the work done. So drop a comment and say 2,000 thousand people that's how many people i expect from here to be successful for this opportunity that's half of the number that is needed and so when it comes to requirements what is the expectation this whole opportunity exists to attract more people into healthcare that is the objective to attract more people into healthcare but not only that the government has said that they want to attract the best quality of people train them thoroughly and then be able to retain them and then support them with other opportunities to progress further look for someone like me who is a fan of career progression this is the perfect opportunity and that's why i love this and that's why by the way i'm dedicating my time i'm available 24 7 i'm not working to make sure that all of you are successful for this so i'm gonna be flexible around your needs i know that some of you are working in domiciliary care you're only available fixed times of the day some of you are only available at night i am available to support you to successfully get this opportunity so please join that session tonight if you can't it's going to be recorded you will have access obviously to the recording immediately after the session is over and i urge you to definitely go through the recording and if you're already a member of my coaching program obviously you need to contact me if you're like hey melvis i think this is perfect for me you know contact me so we can go through some things before that session so that if you've got to prepare any questions anything like that we've got time during that session obviously to go through all of that so if you've got no experience, this is perfect. If you've got some experience, it's also good because it's going to show that you already have exposure when it comes to healthcare and that can only be an added advantage. And by the way, if you're enjoying this content, hit the like button below. Also share this with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, your husband, your wife, your nieces, nephews, kids, relatives encourage them to apply because many people are not aware of these opportunities and like i say many people are going to watch this video but guess what they will not apply that is a big advantage for you the fact that people are going to procrastinate and don't apply is good for you so drop a comment in the comment section below and say no procrastination very important procrastination is the killer of dreams procrastination is a killer of dreams i'm telling you this because i know it's out of experience when it comes to age there is no age restriction because I know that some people are concerned about their age. I totally understand that. Please do not worry. You know, if you're in your 40s, in your 50s, in your 60s, there is no age restriction for this. Put in your application. So leave a comment in the comment section and say, Melvis, no age restriction. Please, no age restriction. Because I know people are going to write to me and say, Melvis, what's the maximum age for this? Because I'm 62. Can I apply? I'm 54. Can I apply? No, no age restriction. And that is absolutely amazing. 
So in terms of the advantages, what are you going to be getting? How is this different from the normal, say, support worker job? The difference with this is that you're going to have a competency booklet that is tailored to this program. And the best thing is that upon successful completion, you're going to have a level three diploma as a senior healthcare assistant. This is something that is a massive qualification. It's not one of those that you can just buy it online as people do. You pay for courses online, some people have level four, level five, level six. No, it's none of that. This is on the job training as it should be, rightfully so in its own form. So you're going to have that open successful completion. What about the duration? Because these are all things that you may have in mind. In terms of duration, different trusts are offering different durations. Some people are offering it for 12 months. Others are offering for 24 months. 24 months is the longest that I have seen. <clears throat> Excuse me. But there is an advantage to this. In terms of the pay, some of them that are offering it for just 12 months, they are paying at band three. Others you know, are paying year one at band three and then year two, you go to band four. Others are doing the whole training period at band three. And then once you've successfully completed that, you then go to band four. The bands that we're talking about, that is a pay. If you don't understand what they're about, leave a comment in the comment section and say bands and I'll be able to explain more. Because once you say bands, I know you've watched till this moment and I understand that you need more information and then I can provide it. So like I say, drop a comment in the comment section and simply say bands and I'll be able to provide that information. And again, when you're looking in terms of visa sponsorship, this enables you to be qualified for visa sponsorship. Imagine progressing to band four. That is massive because the salary you earn about £26,000 per year. If you look at the fact that you have more career progression prospects, which we're going to talk about, you know, the career progression prospects for this kind of looking long term, say two years down the line, upon successful completion, three years down the line, what can you do? We're going to explore that as well. Also, what do you think about this opportunity? Are you going to apply? You know, are you going to implement this or are you going to get this to be wasted? Leave a comment in the comment section as in Melvis, I will implement. That shows that you're following through with what I'm talking about and that you're committed to putting in your application and also for your personal and professional development. Again, what other advantages do you have? So obviously, like I said, you're going to get paid you know the banding depends on the organization obviously because there are lots of different employers that are recruiting for this and um, the next thing is that you're going to have obviously annual leave so you've got holiday pay you've got maternity leave you've got compassionate leave you've got carers leave so if you're somebody that let's say you're a couple you know you're thinking about having kids and all of that it doesn't stop you from doing this because you get paid maternity pay and this is why you know, when you're choosing an employer in the UK, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of choosing an employer that has a lot of social benefits because these social benefits are even more important than how much you're earning. You know what I mean? Because when you're starting your career new in the UK, you need somebody that can support you with training. If you're off sick, what happens to you? You know, how many hours are you working? Are you getting enough rest? Very, very important because you need that holisticness in order for you to succeed, excel and make your UK journey really worthwhile. And this is why I selectively share these fantastic opportunities with you. There are lots of other companies that recruit, but you rarely ever see me sharing them because if an employer isn't ethical and they're not treating people as they should, I, you would never see me share information about such employers because I wouldn't apply to work there. So why encourage someone else to go there? I don't do that because I'm all about clinical excellence. So drop a comment in the comment section below and say clinical excellence. It lets me know you watched the video till now and you're following through with what I'm saying. So clinical excellence. In terms of career prospects, what can you expect? Look, this is something that is even the best part of this opportunity. The fact that you're going to be qualifying with that level three diploma, you know, as a senior, you know, healthcare assistant, support worker and all of that, it is something that is huge. Because if you want to transition into other clinical, non-clinical jobs, you're going to be the perfect candidate. I'm saying this out of experience. If you're not aware, in my time in the UK, I have done three degrees, you know, out of those three, I paid for one. My nursing course, I paid £30,000, you know, to do that, which I don't regret the best decision I ever made, ever. And then my master's, I did a master's, which was mentorship in nursing, which was paid for by my employer. So it was on the job training, similar to what I'm sharing in today's video. 
I was on visa sponsorship at this time. The reason I like to stress on this is because people are concerned. If I'm on visa sponsorship, Melvis, can I go for this opportunity? The answer is yes, you can, even if you're on visa sponsorship. Because these opportunities are considered as career progression, you know, which means that it would be discrimination to refuse, you know, to not give opportunities to people who are working in this country legally, paying taxes and contributing positively to the growth of the company. So this is considered career progression. And I'm saying that I have personally done an apprenticeship while on visa sponsorship in the UK. And that was a master's level. So a lot higher, obviously, than this level. That was a level seven. So Again, I like to share my own experiences just to encourage you to say, don't shoot yourself in the foot. Don't remove yourself from opportunities and put yourself forward because you have nothing to lose. So I want you to leave a comment in the comment section and say visa sponsorship. That lets me know that you agree that you should apply whether you need sponsorship or not and that you have a chance to be successful. So drop a comment in the comment section below and say visa sponsorship. The next thing also is that who are the employers that are recruiting? I'm sure that if you're somebody who has watched any of my previous videos or you're familiar with UK jobs, you know that such an opportunity can only be from the NHS. So the NHS is a national health service in the UK. Um, it is run and owned, managed, you know, by the government, which is, by the way, you and I, all of us. Um, and so because of the funding that is involved, look, private companies don't really have interest supporting their staff. So if you're watching this and you're in the UK working with a private company, <laughs> let me tell you something. The likelihood of them supporting you to progress in your career is 0.0001%. Why? Because if they need somebody who is qualified, they'll just go out, put a vacancy, employ somebody that is already qualified. I mean, why train the person? They won't because it's expensive, it's costly. When we when you look at all the associated costs to this process, you know, it's quite high, but Again, the funding is there. And like I said, most of this funding has been diverted from recruitment agencies so that they can put it onto the staff, which is an amazing strategy. It's very unfortunate that this has meant that many recruitment agencies have lost, you know, their funding or the money that they were having. But from a healthcare professional perspective, it is very positive because the money is going directly to the workers rather than going to the recruitment agency. So if you get what I mean. This is really where this money has come from. So it's more about just diverting funds from one thing to another. So this has led to many opportunities, which you're going to see more that I'm sharing. I've shared many in the last few days. They are open at the moment, like I say, in order to better support you for this opportunity. I am available 24-7. I'm not working at the moment because of this, because I know that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is the perfect opportunity that many of you need. And so I'm hoping that I'm going to see you in that live session tonight. If you need to contact me, obviously, to talk about your specific circumstances, like I said, you need to check the comment section below. You see my contact details. Get to me at your earliest convenience. My one-to-one -one program, obviously, um, is very tailored to your need. What about the supporting information? You know, what is needed? What are your personal circumstances? What are you doing at the moment? What else can you do to really enhance your chances? That's what it's about. So to apply, obviously, you need to go on the NHS website directly to put in your application. And so in terms of the actual requirements, like I said before, you just need to be able to read and write. And you don't need alt. So drop a comment in the comment section below and say no alt. Because this is something that many people get concerned about, you know. And they're like, oh, I don't have alt. Do I need alt? Look, you're worrying about the wrong things. Put in your application first. So leave a comment in the comment section and say no alt. And it lets me know they watched the video till now. Like I said, there's a lot about this that we need to discuss. I cannot go through all of it here on a YouTube video. But I hope to see you, you know, tonight during that live session where we're going to really explore in detail about this opportunity. I've already gone through the application, so I know exactly what all the steps are, what they need and all of that. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. If you've watched the video till now, drop a comment and say, Melvis, I watched the video till the end. So that when you're asking questions, I know that you watched the video till the end. So leave that in the comment section and share this with your loved ones. I'll see you in this video right here and see you during that live session.